came here, there were ballet schools, but there wasn't not much companies around the area, so I always thought, oh, there's something missing here, you know. So I said, let's try to see if we can gather a group of dancers, and then we start performing in our own studios, the Pier Zero. Since the first performance, the beginning, we draw about almost a little bit over a hundred people, and that was here, so that was pretty impressive. When I saw that, I said, this is it, we just can keep doing this. We move on from the studio to a small theater like Nichols, and from Nichols we went to Rockwell, and from Rockwell to Chase, and to Chase to UB, and then we keep going, hopefully forever, until we are old. A few weeks before a production, we're almost all at the point of Killing each um, other. Can we do this? No, not, not exactly killing each other, no. but it gets a little stressful wondering how, how it's all going to come together because you haven't seen the entire cast together, you haven't seen the sets on the stage yet. It's always amazing by the second, I wouldn't say the first dress rehearsal, but second one, that it always comes together. I grew up in Buffalo and I've known Heidi since we were about 10 years old. Neglia happened to be performing Romeo and Juliet at Buffalo State. My wife and I went and I recall so clearly sitting in the audience as the performance began and feeling this surge of excitement and pride that this old friend and new friend had created out of scratch this incredible company that was putting on a world-class ballet performance in Buffalo. And so that made me want to uh, get involved with them. Neglia has a very special place in the Buffalo art scene because of the skill and the passion with which they present classical ballet. There's no one else quite like them. And the combination of the performing company and the school, it really makes this complete package. What we are teaching here is not just to dance, it's to appreciate, to love, to respect dance. When I teach to our kids, Level three, for instance, why I adore to teach level three because they're so young and, and they're so eager, they're so desperate and so hungry, you know? They're like a sponge. At the end of the class, usually they applaud. No, they come and hug you. They squeeze you. These kids are amazing and I, I love to teach this, these kids. We have a city dance program where we sponsor school-age children to come and see all of our productions and we've had over 14,000 children come to our productions. We know that we're touching young kids that would probably not have an opportunity to see a live performance, especially a ballet, and all the feedback we get from them that keeps us moving forward. Romeo and Juliet, a two-hour production that a sixth-grade boy is going to write I almost cried. I almost cried. It was so moving. Mm -hmm. So when we get those kind of letters, it just affirms that what we're doing is, is worth every second. We did our first performance with the BPO at Art Park in 2006. We performed with them three years in a row. And after that successful collaboration, um, we wanted to see if there was something further that we could do. and. We started conversations about Nutcracker. We secured funding from Oshai Foundation, the Went Foundation, Community Foundation from Greater Buffalo to put on our first performance at Chase in 2009. The whole performance level is lifted because you have not only these dancers live, these beautiful sets and costumes, you also have the sound of a live orchestra. There's no comparison. And that's what we're going to have for the Nutcracker, for instance. That will be this year, 2009. I can't wait. <laughs> I cannot wait. It's very rare that you have people who have the artistic vision and the passion for the arts but also really know how to run a small nonprofit organization. And they've been able to do that because not only do they have this passion and this vision, but they also know how to take care of business and get things done. That's something that the funding community, the corporations and the foundations have really appreciated about Neglia. They've seen this very stable organization that really knows how to survive and thrive in a challenging environment. What I would like to see here for the future with us or without us is that this doesn't stop. Our own students one day, hopefully, not living somewhere else, they stay here because there is something here that calls them to stay. There's something tasty here that they want to stay. 
and they will love Buffalo as much as I, as a foreigner, love Buffalo. I see the future not holding only the Nutcracker. No, I see a company, our own dancers, our own teachers, just going and going and going. With or without us, but with me, because I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna die. I'm not dying, okay? All right. He's gonna be frozen. I'm gonna be here forever. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.